Hello everyone. In our previous lesson, we have learned how to load this top player's wall. For those of you who are interested to know how to build this top player's wall, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial today on how to build it. So to build the wall, I start out with a pretty large rectangular part. I call it top player's wall. I make the uh, brick color black and the material is brick. And then you can go to that top player's wall, click on plus sign, and you're going to add a surface GUI. Click on the surface GUI, click on the plus sign, and add a text label. You should see a text label appearing at the left upper left corner of your part. If you do not see that text label appearing, what you can do is you can click on the surface GUI, go to the properties window, and play around with the face. So right now it's facing front. If you don't see your label, maybe you want to change it to facing the back or facing the bottom or facing the left. You can try them all until you see the text label or you can do that or you can rotate your part. You can go ahead and rename that text label to sign and then go to the properties window, go to the position and change the X scale to 0.25. That's gonna take you a quarter way to towards the right. And also change the size of that text label, change the X scale to 0.5 and the Y scale to 0.2. 0.5 is gonna give the label about half the, the, the width of the wall. And 0.2 is going to give the label about a fifth of the, uh, the height of the, the wall. And then you want to scroll down and check the box that says rich text and the box that, say, that, that says text scale. And immediately you see the label appearing in your text label. And then you can change the text color if you like. I changed mine to yellow. And then I go up to the uh, background transparency and I change that to one. So now our first label is done. I'm just going to duplicate this label and then I'm going to rename it to P1, which I'm going to use to store the player's name, the first player's name. And I've changed the position of my P1 text label. I made the X scale 0.03 and the Y scale 0.3. And for the size, I have made it 0.5 for the X scale and 0.07 for the Y scale. From here, we're gonna go and we're gonna make a duplicate copy of this P1 label and we're gonna call it PT1. For my PT1 label, I have changed the position X scale to 0.7 and the Y scale to 0.3. As for the size, I have changed the X scale to 0.2 and the Y scale to 0.07. And now I'm going to go back to my P1 label. I'm going to make a duplicate copy of that and I'll call it P2. For my P2 label, I just need to change the position. So the size is going to be the same as my P1 label, but the position, I want to move the Y scale down one. So I change from 0.3 to 0.4. And then I'm going to make another duplicate copy of that. Control D. I change it to P3. And again, go to the uh, prop, go to the properties window of P3, and you're gonna change the Y scale from 0.4 to 0.5 to move it down one slot. And we're gonna do this two more times. So Control D to copy, change this to P4, 
and go down to properties change the uh, y scale to 0.6 last time duplicate rename to p5 and change the y scale to 0.7 And now we're going to do the same thing for the points. I'm going to do control D, rename. So it's going to be PT2. And go down to the position and change the Y scale to 0.4. Control D. Well, let me rename it first, PT3, Y scale changed to 0.5, do two more times, Control D, PT4, Change the Y scale to 0.6. And last time, Control D. PT5. And change the Y scale to 0.7. Alright, so there you have it. That's our top players wall. And, and then you can just go and change this label here, the sign label, to uh, whatever you want to call it. I call it top players. As for the, the other labels, I want to clear them out. So I'm selecting all the players, player 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the players' names. I'm going to clear that out. And I'm going to do the same thing for the points. I'm going to clear those out. Alright, so we're going to start out with a blank board. And when we have like a top player to add to the list, we're going to load them into P1, PT1, P2, PT2 and so on as we did in the last lesson and also we previously we had an, we had another lesson on text labels where we load the text labels onto the screen GUI so for more information on how to add text labels you can refer back to that lesson for more detailed information alright everyone thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial